Wait, you're still in your starting armor? Aren't you worried that's getting a bit, I don't know, out of fashion? Ladies, gentlemen, and darnest of all ages, the one thing you look at more than anything else in this game is your own character. They are everywhere. It's like they're practically following you around. And the main thing that changes how this character looks is, well, armor. Every class has their own starting armor, but past that, most armor that you will find in this game will be hidden away in crevices and corners waiting for you to explore and find them. So if you are still trying to find your personal outfit of choice, today is the day to rejoice. Today I'll be going over 7 armor sets that you don't want to miss in Elden Ring. First up is the Sage Outfit. This red cloth style covering your entire body will provide a fair amount more protection than base magic class armors give you, and while you're at it, it looks pretty snazzy too, as basic as it is. In order to grab the Sage Armor Set for yourself, head to the Stillwater Cave. This is located right at the bottom of the lake, directly in front of the lake-facing cliffs site of Grace at the southern tip of Liernia. While traveling through this cave, between two poisoned sorcerers will be an offshoot path of the cave. If you follow of this, it will go to a room with a corpse inside of a poison pool, carrying the sage armor set right for the taking. Secondly, the Finger Maiden outfit. This outfit isn't particularly statistically impressive in any way, but it does make you look exactly like a Finger Maiden, which is perfect for any young cosplayer's collection. In order to get the Finger Maiden armor set, head to the very northeast of Liernia just before the Grand Elevator and instead take a right turn up the hill. Wind yourself through the village here and up the cliffside until you arrive at the Church of Inhibition. A fake invader will spawn, you can choose to ignore him and run past to grab the loot if you so choose, but this will prevent you from using the Site of Grace that is located here. Thirdly, we have the Clean Rot Armor Set, an absolutely beautiful metal plate armor set with red and white cloth bits hanging off. Relatively speaking, this armor set is extremely strong for the time that you can get it in the game, but the method to achieve it is equally involved compared to many armor sets, including the ones that I'm talking about today as this is one that involves farming a singular enemy type. The specific enemy used in this case can be found at the Inner Aeonia Site of Grace in Kaled. If you don't have this one, just head east from the highway until you find it. From here, travel west a couple of islands, kill the guy who spawns, run over the next hill, and then kill the one who spawns there. Just further ahead is another one, then another one who spawns around the corner, and then sometimes a fifth one spawns just a little bit forward as well. These guys do a fair bit of damage, but are significantly weak to blood magic. So if you have any blood-based Ashes of War, you will have a pretty easy time, relatively speaking. Once you have killed these four to five enemies on the path, fast travel back to the Site of Grace and repeat. Every time you kill one of these enemies, they have a chance to drop you either their sword, their scythe, or one of the four pieces of their armor set. Spend enough time killing them and you'll get the full armor set complete for yourself. Fourth, this one is in the Rea Lucaria Academy, which you progress to in the main story of the game. Not far from the Church of the Cuckoo, Site of Grace, through the graveyard is a sort of water wheel elevator contraption. If you ignore this and instead hug the wall to your right and jump down, then follow a short rocky path to your left, you'll find a few zombies in front of a gravestone with some loot on it. Said loot is the Carrion Knight Armor Set, which has decent stats but nothing insane. This one is much more for the look of it, which is pretty cool, giving you this beautiful Beautiful aesthetic of a glintstone battle mage if you so desire. Fifth up, we have the Raptor's Black Feathers chest piece along with the Skeletal Mask helmet. The helmet is more of a matching flavor piece, but the chest piece has an actual active effect, boosting the damage of your jump attacks. Together, these pieces are undeniably quite edgy, but this is definitely just another style for another type of person. I'm sure one of you wants to look like this, so if you want to know how, first things first, you have to get to the Eldest Plateau region. From the abandoned coffin site, of Grace, head directly north until you hit a cliff face. Turn due east from there and follow it until you see a cave entrance. Follow the cave downwards, breaking the illusion walls until you hit a waterfall. Follow the wall watching for the crevice on your left. Break the illusion wall that's in the back of that, revealing two chests, each of these holding one of the two armor pieces. Then the final two armor sets actually come mere feet away from each other. The Bloodhound Knight armor set first off is the armor of a familiar enemy type in Elden Ring. These show up as bosses early on, and then as more standard enemies a bit further in, and now you can wear their entire armor set yourself. 
Statistically, it is more or less average, leaning more towards physical defense than magical defense itself. The last armor set then is the Gelmir Knight Armor, which boasts a particularly long helmet. If you like having a long head, then th this is definitely the one for you. Why would you like having a long head? I don't know. I don't judge people and I don't claim to understand them. Do what you want. Statistically, it is actually quite decent for the weight that the armor has. As for how to get both of these armor sets, it is a bit of a long process. First, head to the abandoned coffin site of Grace in Altus Plateau. From here, go northeast up the hill past the ancient dragon enemy that I won't spoil by showing on screen. You can just run right past it if you want. There's no problem with doing that. Then on your right is a site of Grace. Grab it, then instead turn north and head up the hill to Windham Ruins. On the western side of these ruins is the start of a river. Here comes the fun part. Follow this river forward, sticking to the left side wall as long as you physically can. Along this pathway, you will come across more than one boss encounter that you can either choose to fight or skip depending on how you feel in the moment. Eventually, you will reach the Hermit Village. Behind the Hermit Village is the primeval sorcerer Azure, Site of Grace. From here, go north along this rock and jump the gap, then head into this big stone structure on the other side. Welcome to the Gelmer Heroes Grave Dungeon. Inside of here are a load of skeletons, some bandits, a fire trap, a chariot trap, and a ton of lava. However, it looks way more imposing than it actually is, mostly because there is a significant shortcut to the goal that we have here today ourselves. From the top, run straight down to the second alcove, then wait for the chariot to pass you. Then run down another two alcoves and wait again. Once the chariot passes you once more, drop down as tightly into the close corner as you can. This will put you on some wooden rafters. From here, drop down to the diagonal wooden rafters, turn around, and very, very slowly notice that there is an open window that you can jump inside of. Down the ladder in here is a Bloodhound Knight. Defeat him and he'll drop his own armor set for you to take. Once he's dead, loot the corpse behind him and you'll also get yourself the Gelmir Knight armor set. Easy peasy, jobs a goodin. And with that, we have seven armor sets that you don't want to miss in Elden Ring. Have you found any armor sets yourself that you don't want us to miss? Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye